everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing an unboxing video and this time it's going to be a diamond painting unboxing now this was very kindly sent to me by a lady called miranda i believe from um, a diamond painting company called in love art shop um, i will put all the links and everything um to this um painting and to the store in the description box below if you would like to check it out but they they reached out to me and asked me if i would be happy to to do a video um an honest review video in return for a free diamond painting so this came around about a week ago um there was a lot of difficulty first of all with the carrier that they used um it was delivered by Hermes. Now Hermes don't have the greatest of reputations when it comes to uh, delivering um, items. So this was actually um, this actually took almost a week after its originally after its original dispatch date before I actually got hold of it. Um, this is actually in a box, you know the normal diamond painting boxes, but this was actually posted through my letterbox. Now I've tried to put the box into the into its original shape because the way it came through my door was like that. I kid you not, it was flat and it was put through my letterbox. Now in actual fact, it is a square box, like your standard diamond paintings. So I'm gonna open it. So first of all, I don't I'm not rating the carrier that they used at all, but like I say. Hermes have not got the best of reputations but I do hope that the actual packing itself has withstood the test of time when it comes to being squashed and put through my letterbox so we shall see so it's got its normal grey wrapping and here is the box I can get it out of here so as you can see the box is rather squished now that isn't any fault of the diamond painting company this is actually down to the fact that the box was flattened so that you could get through the letterbox I have to keep saying that again the front of the box here it's all dog-eared and all you and this side of the box is all dented and you can see where it's been flattened in the middle and it resembles more of a triangle shape than it does a rectangle. So we've got the diamond painting box. Um, it's got high purity, high definition protected, global hot sale, diamond painting on this side. And I think that there's a barcode here and I think that may be the size 25 by 35. I could be wrong. Um, I can't actually remember what I ordered now. So, oops, so the box is already falling apart, as you can see. Um, it doesn't look like they've used a foam core on the inside. That's what I can see on the inside. Hopefully, it has, it has held up okay in transit. It looks like it might have done, actually. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so it comes rolled up. There's all there's a spare, there's a loose drill here. So I think this is a round drill. I did have an option of what I wanted to buy. They did send me um, a voucher code, so I could choose a diamond painting up to a certain size, and then with this voucher code, I just input that in the um, in the checkout section, and it nulled and voided the actual cost of the painting. So it's in a plastic cellophane wrapper. There are the drills that we'll have a look at in just a moment. There is no foam core. And by the looks of it, this looks like it's got the clear cover. If I can get it out of here, I will show you it. It looks like it's um, it's actually survived the test of time. I'll try and get that drill out of there later. I'm not sure if it's for this painting or not. Okay, so that is what we can see so far. All this is all crumpled up, as you can see. We do have 
the standard drill kit with three placer, standard pink pen, some Ziploc bags and a green boat and a tray of wax. And this is the painting. Now I can't remember. There's another drill here. These have obviously come out of one of the bags, I think. So we have a couple of loose drills. Let me just roll this the other way. The actual quality of the canvas itself doesn't look too bad, to be fair, considering it's um, it's been beaten up in transit. So I would, first of all, recommend to the company, to In Love Art Shop, that they use foam rollers. And there's another drill there that's escaped. So that's three drills so far I've found. So there is the image. I hope you can see, make it out, make out what it is. There is the thumbnail. Hopefully you can see that. I can't remember exactly what it is I ordered now. And I can't quite work it out from the thumbnail either. It looks like, looks like some kind of flower, I think. I don't actually know what it is. I can't remember what it is I ordered. And to be honest, I don't actually think this was the one that I did order. Hmm. You know, I honestly don't think this was the one that I ordered. <laughs> I have to be quite honest. I will have to have a look in the um, in the description, in the email that I was sent as to what paint I actually chose. But I am pretty certain that this wasn't what I ordered. But anyway... We will carry on with the review. So that is, make out of that what you can. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. Um, it is actually a 33 by 43, so it is a, a nice manageable size diamond painting. Um, it is quite sticky here. Like even after the, the, the glue, we've got the sticky here. So the actual drill field is nice and sticky. That's all crumpled up, but that's okay. Um, but here, all on the edges of the diamond painting, where the actual plastic cover finishes, it's all sticky. Um, let's peel back the sheet. So it is poured glue. So the actual quality of the canvas itself is, um, is pretty decent. As I say, it is very sticky. The symbols are very easy to read. There are 24 colours in this painting. Let's check the other side. Yeah, there's 24 colours. And it is a round drill and there are the symbols so if we have a look at the drills then so I do have three loose drills which they look like they could be possibly five five O's and that one's stuck in the bag and I can't trying to get it to oh I've lost it where's that gone it was in the bag now it's not oh well I think I've lost one of the drills <laughs> but I've got two there so that's two that I've found anyway right let's have a look at the drills then so they come in this plastic wrapping sorry for any crinkling there is no inventory sheet turn this over so we can see if there are any loose drills as we pour them onto the canvas okay so we have we have some three tens three eight three sevens looking at the drills they look like they're in really good condition I'm trying to see which bag it is that's open 
Now it's two bags of 3837. If I can show you inside of one of the bags, if I can get it to focus, hopefully you can see that okay. Okay, the drills themselves do look to be in a good condition. Um, right, we've got 797s, 154s. So far, I can't see which bag it was that was open. If There might not even be a bag that's open. 823s. Now, is that 600? Yeah, DMC 600. 333s. 797s. There's two bags of them. 799. 791. 718. More three three threes. Eight twenties. More five fifties. That's a lovely colour blue. I like that colour blue. That is eight oh nine. So seven nine eight. 791s, 820s, 820s, more 820s, 3837s. Oh, look at that lovely colour pink. I do think the colours are very vibrant though, and the drills do seem to be of really good quality, even though I don't think this is the painting that I actually ordered, but I will have to check. 3804, 914. Five, three, oh, six, seven, eight, two, oh, four, one, three, six, oh, three, seven, six, two. It feels like ages since I've had a diamond painting. I haven't done this for so long. Seven, nine, eight, eight, two, three. 823, 820, 208, more 208s, 3805, there's two bags of that, 3804, okay, I think we're done, so there should be, none of the bags are open, so I think these two drills we've got here are just, um, loose ones so i will keep them to one side just in case but i think if anything they're likely to be either the 3837s or the 820s i think they're more towards the 3837s because they are quite a light purple but i will put them in the tray just to keep them just in case um so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we do have all of the colours. Um, there are three, one, two, three, four, five, six bags of the 820s. There's a there's a really big bag of the 310s. Um, usually the 310s are the ones that tend to be a little bit on the, the bad side. But from what I can see inside that bag there, there is no... There is no loose cut-offs or anything like that. The inside of the bag looks really clean. So we have, looks like we have some really good quality drills. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I mean, despite the fact that the box was crushed um, and it wasn't in a foam roller and this possibly not being the painting that I ordered, but again, I will double check this. Um, I think it's a pretty decent um, decent diamond painting. Obviously, the proof will be in the pudding when I come to do the diamond painting, which, because it's like a nice little snack size diamond painting, it should be something I could just pick up and, and do relatively quickly. So hopefully when I've got my neck, my, the, the whip that I'm working on at the moment done, um, maybe we can get this one done and out of the way because it's quite small and manageable. So I would so far recommend In Love Art Shop, um, to to the company themselves though i would highly recommend that if you're sending a diamond painting in a box that you use some kind of um 
protection like inside like inside the roll of the diamond painting just to protect it fortunately in this instance the diamond painting wasn't affected but if you're buying a bigger diamond painting you know or you're buying a custom or something you want to make sure that it's protected so i would highly recommend that they go with the foam roll um, or something similar just to give it a bit of protect bit of protection in transit because judging by the state of the box you know this is pretty much flat this could have turned out way worse than it actually did so fortunately though in this case we was uh, we was lucky but that is pretty much it so i do hope that you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and um, please check out the description down below that will take you to um the in love art shop website and i will definitely check to see if this is the painting that i ordered i honestly cannot remember what it was that i ordered but i'm pretty sure i didn't order this because i don't know what it is i can't work out what the design is so if you know what this picture is of please let me know because i can't quite fathom it out um so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and i shall see you all next time take care and i'll see you soon